Welcome back to another episode of West Explains Best. We're doing geometry today, specifically section 11.4. We're getting into volume. Okay, so volume's a very relevant uh, chapter. You're going to use it throughout your life. Uh, containers, water bottles, uh, houses, rooms, cars, everything uses volume. You use volume because your body composes volume. What is volume? Volume is 3D space. Okay, the amount of space in a three-dimensional plane, or planes, I should say. Now, the volume of a prism is pretty simple. So when we're talking about volume, we're talking about units cubed. Okay, that's just something to keep in mind. Because the reason why it's cubed is because we're talking about three dimensions. All right, now, volume of a prism. Let me get back to that. So a prism, as we know, has two bases, and it has rectangular sides. So if I take a look here... All these sides are rectangles, okay? But with a, a rectangular prism, really any of the sides can be the base, okay? Now, the volume of a prism is much more simple than you think, okay? Let me, let me give you an example. So let's say I have this base right here, and let's say this is two dimensions. Now, imagine that I have the ability to kind of pull this down and make it a little bit longer, Okay, so now it's just a fraction bigger than it was. What if I keep pulling this down? So I'm going to make it even longer now. Okay, so let's go back to before I made it long. How would I find the area? How would I find the total space that takes up, that's taken up in this uh, rectangular space there? Let me draw a proper rectangle here. How would I find the, well, how would I find the, the space? Well, I'd have to find the area of this base and that's gonna be length times width. So first is I need to find the area of the base. Now, as I'm pulling this down, what changes? Now we have a third dimension. We don't just have length and width, now we have a third dimension. Some people call it depth, I call it height. So how do we account for this height with this new space? How do we count for all this new space created in three dimensions, all the inside of this? Much easier than you think. All we need to do is multiply by the height because that's the new thing. Okay, so the volume of a prism, volume of a prism is equal to the area of the base of the prism times the height. It's as simple as that. Okay, so I already talked about the height, area of the base. I should change this to blue, style blue. Let me change this to this blue. And then let me style that one's already orange. Perfect. So then we have our height. So area of the base, blue, height, prism. Let me change this color too. I'm being a little nitpicky, but what's the alternative? Being sloppy, I'll take it. Okay. So the reason, I mean, the reason why I'm going to kind of brush it over it is because it's it's so simple. I mean, you take the the area of the base, and then because you're essentially stretching it out over the height, you multiply it by the height, and there you go. You got the volume. So let's go ahead and go over a couple examples. Okay, so for example one, it already gives you the base, um, but it tells you well, the first step to, to finding a prism is you gotta identify the base. So here we have a base. Oh, look at that, that's sloppy, that's sloppy work right there. Got those little lines there, <laughs> that works. Okay, so the volume is first decided by the area of the base. So we have two bases here, and we just need to pick one. We, we only need to find the area of one of them. You don't have to find the area and add or anything like that. Just find the area of one of the bases. So I have that base here, okay? And now I need to know some of the dimensions. Now, it's an equilateral triangle, looks like, right? It has these red dashes. That means it's equilateral, I'm, I'm pretty aware, yeah? Okay, so if that's eight, we need to know, because the area of the base is equal to one half base times height because it's a triangle. You always have to know the different formulas for these 2D shapes. That's one thing that's conditioned. This area of the base sounds easy, but you need to remember triangle, regular polygon, all this other stuff, okay? Now we have the base, the base is fine. Now this is base big B, this is the base little b, okay? There's a big difference there. Little b is talking about a distance. So the base of this triangle is eight. So we know that already times one half, but we don't know the height. The height is gonna be in green. Well, if the that's what we're looking for there, we can form a 90, uh, 90 degree angle. This is gonna be four. 
So now we have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. That's 4, 8. If you guys remember, 30, 60, 90. If this is x, this is 2x, and this is going to be x radical 3. So if that's 4, that's 2 times 4, that's 8. This is going to be 4 radical 3. So I multiply this by 4 radical 3. Now I'm ready to proceed. And 1 half times 8 times 4, that should give me 16 radical 3, and that's unit squared. Okay, got my first step done. So volume, I'm just going to copy and paste this formula. Hope you guys don't mind. Copy, paste. Okay, so I have my area of the base. Area of the base, man, I should have used blue again. Oh, well, I'll style it, whatever. Style it, blue. There we go. Being consistent. I'm sure you guys appreciate it. 16, radical 3. Now, my height. Do not multiply this by 4, radical 3. This is not the height of the prism. When it's talking about height, this is talking about height of prism. That's also known as the distance between bases. That's a very important distinction. So what is the distance between these bases? It is this, it is 10. So times 10. Now we're gonna get our volume. Let me change to this dark red color. I like this color. Okay, so then we have 160 radical three. Uh, actually, it does give us units. It's inches cubed. And that is our volume of this triangular prism. Now, cylinder is like the same thing. It's a type of prism, but it's one big rectangle. The only difference is that you just got to choose a different type of a formula for your base. So we know that the volume of the cylinder, we'll say C, is the area of the base. Because again, you're just taking the circle, that's the base, and you're going to be stretching it out. And you're just going to be multiplying it to find the volume. What color did I use for the height? Orange. I'll use this orange. Why not? Okay. So now, my area of the base is going to be in purple. That's what's shaded in there. It's a circle. Okay. And I already know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. Well, my r is 4. Pi times 4 squared. So get pi times 16. 16 pi. Okay. Have my area of the base. 16 pi. Now, my height. That is not the height of the shape. That's not the height of the circle, anything like that. It's the height of the prism, the distance between the bases. If I have a base here and I have a base here, the height is the distance between. So that is 8 times 8. So now I just need to do 16 times 8. And that gives me 128. So I have my volume now, 128 pi meters cubed there's my volume. Living dangerously on the 5%. Hope you guys found this useful. I'll see you next time when we talk about volume of pyramids and codes. See you later.